this gentleman present here with uh, for evaluation of bleeding of his upper lip. Had a hit, had a lip laceration in a fight Friday a week ago, yeah. over a week. And so then last night, what happened? You started actually having bleeding uh, of this lip. And and so tell me about the bleeding. How much bleeding were you having? I mean, it was scary, man. Like last night, I was where it was squirting with my pulse. You know. So it was, it was pumping blood. Yeah. Like an artery. Yeah. And it was hitting your tongue. Uh -huh. How much blood do you think you lost? Probably in the last 24 hours, probably about half a gallon. Half a gallon of blood. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you finally actually called the EMS to bring yeah, you in. I had to. I All right. I was going to bleed to death. Man. I was about to bleed to death, really. <laughs> so, so what we actually think you've done here is you, you've got the superior labial artery, and that artery is notorious, in, especially with kids who have chewed on electrical cords, and then uh, about a week later they have um, major bleeding from that artery. And so this is a little bit different variation on that theme, but you you basically uh, got that uh, a branch a part of that superior labial artery, and as a result of that, you are uh, as a result of that you actually had significant bleeding start to develop. And so yeah. we're going to close it up. We're going to do some. Uh, what are we going to use, guys? Uh, we're going to do an inflorable block lido with epi, um, and then close it on the outside um, with non-absorbable, and then close it on the inside with absorbable gut. Okay. Yeah, we actually ran this past the uh, maxillofacial docs, the oral oral maxillofacial, just to make sure they didn't have any other tricks up their sleeve as far as superior labial arteries, and, and they're uh, they they are totally in agreement with what we're doing here. So I went out, finally went out in the yard because I couldn't get it to stop. Right. So I went out in the yard and just and it's just it's just I, I had a pile of blood in the sand, you know, like, like right. this. Right. Wow. Wow. Yeah, and I. And, I couldn't get it to stop even stuffing anything up in there anymore. Wow. It was just coming through all that stuff. Wow. So I said, you better call an ambulance before I bleed out. <laughs> yep. Okay. And uh, right where the superior so let, me, let, me, let me go focus in on that thing a little bit more. Yeah. I got it. Okay. Right here. Oh, inside? Inside and then you're aiming right there. So see that length right there? Mm. Put your finger here. Put your finger right over there. Yeah. Yeah. See that? So yeah. between there and there, that's, okay. that's, that's the, the length, length that you're going need. on. Okay. okay. And remember, either you stop the bone or you hear an owl, and then you're at the nerve. Come back a little bit. Draw back, make sure you're not inside a vein okay. or an artery, and then okay. give it a couple cc's in there. All right, a little prick. Mm. You're doing All right. good. You're doing good. Well, that was a nasty cut. Is it on the outside too? Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I couldn't see it. So you just got a big clot sitting in there, right? So I'm gonna, yeah. So the key about this is, if I want to take out the clot, I got to do it very carefully. He's not purposely trying to make that thing bleed, but he's got to get that clot out of there to sew it up. Can't leave the clot in there. Give me a little gauze, man. Yep. I think the rest of that is just tissue there. But the rest okay, of just like some also tissue. Yeah. If you have to debreed a little bit, I mean, just you might debreed a little bit of that, yeah. Yeah. And then the rest of that will close. That will close primarily pretty well now. I do. Yep. All right. Let's get a close up on that if you could just to... All right, sir. There it is right there. Did you lose that tooth? In the in the injury, sir? Uh-uh. No. Mm -mm.